Hey, welcome back. Decimals video series, video 5, adding decimals. Okay, adding decimals. We line up the decimal points. We can add extra zeros so that the number of digits match. And the decimal point in our answer stays in line with the decimal points in our question. Let's see how it works. Here's our example. We'll uh, rewrite it so that the decimals are on top of each other and notice that I've lined up the decimal points so that they're above each other. Important to set it out carefully. And then we just add the digits pretty normally here. 2 plus 7 is 9. The next column, 9 plus 4 is 13. We'll write down the 3 and we'll carry the 1 over. Now let's have a look. Where are we going to decide to put our decimal point? Well, it looks pretty logical. We're going to just line up our decimal point so it stays in line in our answer with the decimal points that were in the question. So our decimal point will go there. And then we're just adding up that last column, our 1 that was carried over, and our 3, and our other 1 ends up being 5.39. So we set it out all in a line, and the decimal point in our answer goes directly underneath the decimal point, the decimal points from our question. Even if we've got some uh, more complicated ones here, we'll just try and line everything up so our decimal points are lined up, even if our numbers are a little bit out of whack there. We're allowed to add extra zeros so that the number of digits in our question match. So we're going to add some zeros on the top decimal there so they have the same number of digits as the other ones, and a zero on the bottom one there as well. We're allowed to do that at the end of any uh, decimal. We're allowed to add some zeros just to help our, our brain make it a bit easier, give us something to add to in this case. So 0 plus 5 plus 0, I think you can see we'll be writing a 5 down there. In the second column we have a 0 plus 6 plus 1 is a 7. Now the next uh, column we have an 8 and a 2 making 10, making 13 altogether. We'll write the 3 down and once more we'll carry a 1 over. Now the rule for our decimal point in our answer is just to line it up with the decimal points in the question. So our decimal point will go straight under there. And then we'll add the rest of them normally. So 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. We'll put the 4 digit down and we'll carry 1 over to the next column. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. So, uh, okay, we lined up the decimal points. We added extra zeros to help everything line up here in the second example. And our decimal point in our answer ended up just being straight in line with the decimal points that were in our question. And we line up the decimal points. We add extra zeros if we need to to help uh, everything line up. And the decimal point in our answer just goes straight underneath the decimal points that have happened in our question. All right, hope that uh, makes sense to you. Line everything up and you should be sweet. Thanks for listening. Let's uh, have a look at the next video when it comes along.